all right guys on today's video we're gonna go on and update to the latest mac os so here it is now you guys can see if your computer's compatible just on apple's website i'm gonna give you a quick quick glance at it so right here if you don't see your mac on this list it is not compatible you will not be able to update it but anyways the first thing you guys should do before you run any updates is run a backup and that's because if something goes wrong you have that backup what i suggest doing is using system settings so go right into it and then type in time machine on the top left hand side it's something that's pre-installed on your mac and then just go on and make that time machine backup i do have a separate video obviously showing you guys how to format an external hard drive to make it work with time machine on your mac so make sure to check that out but right now i am running this backup i'm gonna wait for it to be done and then and only then i'm gonna update my mac obviously before you run the update you should check out if your apps are compatible so don't run any updates until you see that the apps that you guys use right now and you need are 100 percent compatible and besides that i always recommend having at least 100 gigs of free space on your mac although with 50 you should be fine 100 is just to make sure and it's just to make sure that everything runs smoothly all right so right now you are all set and ready to go so we're gonna go into system settings down here below once you go into system settings you're gonna go into software updates your second option now let's say you don't see system settings up there well well down there going to your left hand side you're gonna see the app logo system settings your second option and then from here again let's say you don't see this software update available as your second option don't worry about it scroll down go into general under general software update and this should be popping up if it doesn't just turn on and off automatic updates there you go you should be good to go it is six gigs however i always recommend having at least 50 gigs of free space on your mac when you're running any type of update but now that you guys made your backup on time machine you guys looked up that your app store are fully compatible with the next mac os and you're not working on any projects plus you're gonna have your mac plugged in the whole time not work on anything while this is happening go ahead and tap on upgrade now once you do that click on agree put in your passcode if you have one hit ok and it's gonna download at this point in time you guys can just leave your mac to be it's gonna just download install by itself and you're gonna be done so you don't have to be here watching it do its thing because it's just gonna download by itself it's gonna restart you will see an app logo loading bar and then you're gonna be done with the update and once again this does depend on your internet speed how fast it is the download time you guys can speed it up by using an ethernet cable for example but when it comes down to installing well the older the mac the longer it's gonna take all right so as mentioned if you left your mac to be we just restarted you would have seen an app logo in loading bar and that's it everything would have loaded back in and then you can go into software update and make sure you are all up to date and that would be it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you